Hello ladies and gentlemen, if you would like your photos to come alive using only PowerPoint, well, I will show you how to do it in this video. Let's get started. That's good. So ladies and gentlemen, let's open up a fresh blank new presentation. Let's click on new blank presentation. And let's set the slide layout to blank. We don't need any image placeholders. And now let's go to unsplash.com. Let's find this beautiful picture by Rio Hodges. This is a picture of waterfall, as you can see. Let's copy this image and let's paste it into PowerPoint. As you can see, the image does not cover the whole slide uh, precisely. So let's go to crop options, choose aspect ratio 16 to 9. When we are happy, let's hit on crop again. Align our photo to the left and to the top of the slide. Grab this round bubble and drag the photo so it nicely covers the whole slide. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now let's duplicate the first slide. And on the second slide, let's go to insert shapes and let's choose this tool called scribble. So now just draw around the edges of a waterfall. Make sure you leave some space between the waterfall and the rest of the photo. You don't have to be very precise because we will add some soft edges later on. Okay, now first select the background, hold down the shift key, select the blue shape and go to format, merge shapes and choose intersect. And you will get something like this. Now go to format, picture effects and apply soft edge of 50 points. Beautiful, you are doing wonderful. All right, now let's just cut this waterfall and paste it into the first slide. Let's delete the second slide. We don't need it anymore. And now let's go to the uh, format format options of this uh, waterfall that we just did, format picture. Let's go to picture correction and let's set the brightness to minus 100% so that we can better see you know, what we are doing. And now we will add some animations to our waterfall. And the first animation we will add is called grow and shrink animation, which will basically make our waterfall grow. So this is how it looks right now It's growing into all directions. So let's make sure that our waterfall is growing only vertically. So you can set it in the effect options. Okay. Everything looks beautiful in the options. Let's make sure it starts with previous, so it means it starts automatically. All right, now let's add a second animation to the same object, which is called lines. So with the lines, we can basically adjust where our waterfall is starting. Just remove the smooth end and smooth start. We don't need those options. Now let's look how it looks like. As you can see, waterfall is sliding a little bit downwards, so we can fix that by adjusting this red bubble. Let's check it out now. Looks beautiful. Okay. And now we can go to format to picture, picture corrections, and we can set the brightness back to one uh, to zero percent, so it's fully visible. And this is how it looks like. Wonderful. But as you can see now the animation, you know, has duration only of a two seconds. So now I will show you how you can make this kind of animation to last, for example, for 20 seconds. But to do that, we first need to add one more animation, which is called fade animation. Make sure duration is one second and delay is one second as well. All right. So now we have three animations applied to waterfall. So now let's just select a waterfall and duplicate it with Ctrl D, for example, 10 times. You can do it 30 times, 20 times, as much as you want. Let's do it 10 times. Now hit Ctrl A to select everything. Just uh, don't select the background. And now let's align everything to the left and to the top. So now we have 10 waterfalls with three animations applied to each of those waterfalls. So now all that's left to do is apply a little bit of delay between all of these animations. So let's add a half a second delay between all of these animations. 
So for the first, for the second waterfall, it's going to be half a second. For the third one, it's going to be one second and so on. All right, and now all that's left to do is to fix these uh, fade animations. So make sure that uh, fade animation touches the right side of the blue bar because fade animation has to happen, you know, the last. First goes the growth animation at the same time the line animation and the fade animation is the last. So this fade animation really helps to look to make all of this animation smooth. So now let's uh, play it from the start and see how everything looks like. Uh, let's play it on the full screen so that we can see it better. Skadoosh, ladies and gentlemen, this is how you make your photos come alive using only PowerPoint. In this case, we animated a waterfall photo. That's wonderful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on my next video. By the way, if you'd like to learn more about PowerPoint, check out my latest video where you can become a PowerPoint expert. If you are only a beginner, you can become an expert just by watching that video which is only 2 hours long. So thanks for watching once again, see you on the next one.